Hi everyone, it's Miss Olson, and I'm going to show you today how to use color blending with your color scheme and how to add different types of line and shape variation to represent yourself in your um, mandala inspired radial design. I will have some handouts out so you can get some examples of different types of line, shape, and design combinations for your details. Um, but I also want to show you some of these. So this one already looks more detailed than my printed one because it has color blends on it um, and it also has lines that I have added. So I actually added one, two, three, all of these, they were not printed. So the only difference between our printing day and this day is we're using color blends with our color scheme we chose and we're also using um, line. So if you do want to use a ruler to make it more precise, that's fine, but you can add outlines around things, use the printed design as a guide, but also make it more detailed. I'll show you another example and another example. So again, we choose a color scheme to represent ourselves. You could have used primary, secondary, analogous, warm pool, or um, complementary. So remember to stick to your color scheme. We will be eventually reflecting on that and writing it on the back. So here I could utilize my line that I already chose as a guide. For example, if I wanted to create this type of color blend, I would start with um, half one color. So you can do a color blend with analogous colors, or you could also do a color blend with two colors that are similar, or you could do a color blend with um, tints and shades or white or black. So I'm going to do a tint and shade one or tints. So I'm going to do half white and half blue, but I'm going to have it actually fade to a lighter blue here in the center. And the trick to a good color blend is overlapping it a little bit where they're touching, pressing really hard. And then you could even use a Q-tip eventually to help you fade it, but using this color to get started. So now I have completed those color blends and let's start on my new one. The other thing I want to say is if a print did not go well for you, it's okay. You can go back into this. The oil pastel looks a lot like the paint in terms of color and texture. So if something didn't print well, you can complete the lines that you already started first. So if I, for example, didn't like how these circles didn't print all the way, I can go through and just treat it like a drawing now. And I'm going to fix all my circles that were not complete. I'm going to say, okay, these yellow designs kind of got out of hand. So I'm going to connect some of these lines together and make sure they're finished. But having them there as a base or a guide is a good start. So I'm finishing up anything that wasn't printed correctly. And then I'm also adding more. So for example, I could add... Um, a circle inside of this circle, and I'm using peach since that's part of my analogous color scheme that I chose. And then I could use another color from my color scheme to add like a triangle coming out from each of those. Just remember that it's supposed to be balanced, so whichever type of design you choose, you want it to repeat all the way around. So for example, if I choose to do this with green coming out from this line. It should be green all the way around. Now, if I want to do a color blend again, I can do half orange, for example, in here. I could do half yellow, which is analogous. And then you want to overlap them in the center, mix them together just like you would with paint and kind of wiggle the colors together so that they're blending. So now I have a color blend there. And then I can either do the same thing all the way around or I could do every other. And I think the same all the way around would be too boring for me. I'm trying to express my inner vibrance. So I'm going to do half and half and then cross them where they're touching. There we go. And I could do the same thing on every other all the way around. Remember, you can turn the oil pastel if the paper's off. Oops, I did the wrong side there. I have to fix that. So I'm going to go around to every one every other one do half yellow half orange if you make a mistake just turn it around so i made this yellow to make the white pop out or sorry to make the yellow turn back i'm going to have to do some white you can always fix and edit and add maybe peach was a better color all right so now i'm going to do half and half with another color so i'm going to go half maybe green half 